A local teen is just the latest in a growing number of arrests in connection to the clown frenzy that has gripped the country. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us in studio with more on how police are not taking these threats lightly. That's new at 530. Yeah, it's been called a phenomenon, a national trend, whatever it is. Police and school leaders in our area are part of a growing voice saying this is not a joke and they're taking it seriously. The clown craze reaches New England. The national phenomenon of people reporting they're seeing creepy clowns in areas has hit Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Rehoboth police saying they arrested a 17-year-old student at Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School. They told us the student made threats on Twitter that were serious. PD add the 17-year-old admitted it was a prank feeding off the clown frenzy. The school sent us a statement thanking police and hoping the arrest helps quell any angst kids may have about the reports recently. In fact, statements have come pouring in from across our area about the clown fears. Barrington School saying they take this seriously and there's no immediate threat there. Add West Warwick PD to the list. They say they've gotten calls about illusions and innuendos, but no credible threat and hope parents talk to their kids about social media use. URI spokesperson said a false text went around to students Monday night that a clown was on campus and to call police. Officials say if you see something suspicious, of course give them a call, but hoax calls and threats can land you in serious trouble, like five girls in Connecticut who were arrested for spreading clown threats. Now, the problem is police officials have said a hoax threat can take them away from more serious issue, issues and dilute their resources. Plus, it doesn't matter if it's a joke or a prank, you can still be charged like the 17-year-old in Rehoboth. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.